announcing today that we are expanding the call of what they are going to be considering this week. And so, yes, they will be considering the congressional map, but they also will be considering termination of all special districts that were enacted in Florida prior to 1968, and that includes the Reedy Creek Improvement District. Okay, so what uh, Ron death sentence there is uh, threatening is to take away Disney's uh, s uh, state protection. Um, they have their own district called the Reedy District, and he's threatening them. He's threatening to take away uh, their status in, in Florida, and they are Florida's largest employer. Why is he doing that? He is doing that because they won't support his don't say gay bill. OK, and he literally is threatening with government resources Disney's ability to uh, function under the same rules that they've been functioning under since 1968 here in Florida. He's also threatening Citibank. He's telling Citibank because Citibank is saying, hey, listen, you want to take away a woman's right to choose in this state or any state? We in our benefits uh, package will include new benefits for women who need reproductive health care. And we will not only give them, you know, payment for their reproductive health care in our health care plan, but we will include travel benefits for them to go to another state if they need reproductive health care and can't get it in your state. So Ron DeSantis has decided that he's going to ban the Florida government from doing any business with Citibank or any company that provides such benefits. Now, when did government become, when did government become HR for private companies? You see what I'm saying? This is all part of the oligarchy. This is all part of the autocracy. This is this is so Russian that pretty soon what you're going to end up with is a bunch of American companies who can't do business in this state or that state where there's a Republican governor or Republican legislature unless they kick back in some form or way to that Republican governor and or legislature. That's how it starts. This is what it looks like. You all wonder, how does this happen? How do, how do you get an oligarchy? How do you get uh, some sort of a, a place that isn't free anymore? How does it happen? This is how it happens. And this is all in the name of getting power for yourself. You exploit people with lies. You propagandize them. You tell them that Disney, Disney is a groomer of children for, pedophi uh, for, for pedophiles. You tell them Citibank is, is, is against them in some way, shape, or form, and you ban them from doing business with your government, with your state. I mean, this is just so unbelievable. Uh, you've got Greg Abbott, who's, who's involved in border mismanagement that is legion, legendary, literally blocking nine, he stopped on Friday, but he was blocking $9 billion worth of commerce, $9 billion worth of, and that was just produce. That is the annual trade on the Mexican United States border that is done in just produce, not even car parts, not even computer chips, not even any of the other things that we send back and forth. No, not even the truckers who, you know, bring the produce from Mexico to the United States, unload their, uh, their trucks, and then take American goods in the empty trucks, right? They get reloaded and they help us export to Mexico our manufactured goods. I mean, he didn't even give a damn. He didn't give a damn. Border mismanagement and starving people and in the middle of a, a supply chain bottleneck that we already had due to COVID was a good thing for him to appeal to the anti-immigration base. It was a good way for him to get power. He's up for re-election, as you know, in November. So he had to prove his anti-immigrant bona fides by literally starving his own people. That's how it happens. That's how it happens. And now you have a DeSantis who isn't content enough to call Disney pedophiles to the point where people literally go on the street corner in Orlando. You know what kind of commerce Disney generates for Orlando? $75 billion a year. $75 billion a year just to Central Florida because Disney is beloved. 
but he wants to make some sort of inroads. He wants to score some sort of, uh, you know, anti-gay points with his anti-gay base by screaming that Disney is grooming children. I mean, just turning Disney into the, 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 the most inhumane, disgusting, lowest thing you could, you could, oh, it's just, it's so obvious what's going on. And yet you still get people out on the street corner screaming, you're a Marxist, you're a communist, you're a pedophile, you like pedophiles, this is you. Thank God Ron DeSantis is alive to protect us. From what? $75 billion from the happiest place on earth going into your economy? That's bad? He's protecting you from that? Oh my God. Now, he's literally after math. Math. Mathematics. Geometry, trigonometry, algebra, banning those books. Republican Governor Ron DeSantis doubling down on Florida's rejection of nearly half of all math textbooks that were submitted for use in schools. The reason, he said, among other things, the books violated new state standards like mentioning critical race theory. The Florida Education Commissioner even accused textbook publishers of trying to, quote, indoctrinate students. Through math, numbers. Oh my God! He, and this is really happening. It really is happening. All to get power, to get power. And see, this is the thing. Corporate America. They finally, finally are starting to get a whiff of everything that we've been telling them. Their friendship was going to produce. You're going to end up without law. You're going to end up without courts. You're going to end up without a peaceful transfer of power. You're going to end up in a lawless society. You're going to end up having to kick back to governors. You're going to have to kick back uh, to, to political parties if you want to do business in, in, a, in, a, in a place that looks nothing like a free and open and fair society. I, I, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's all happening. So Disney does have special tax status. It's unique to Disney. It's been their status since the 60s for 50 years or so, okay? But that's how desperate you have, uh, you know, our Republican governor and other Republican governors to get as much power for themselves as they can. It is literally a race to own, to own everything. It's, it's stealing. They're the benefits department now. They're going to tell companies what they can offer their employees. How in the world are corporations going to attract educated, diverse workers to do the work if they don't offer benefits? Well, they can't, right? And corporations still there. There's the only reason why they give you benefits is to attract you, is to get you to work there, right? That's it. And sometimes, like in a market like this, okay, where it's hard to find really skilled, good workers, People uh, in corporate America are in competition to offer better packages for the, the best skilled workers. And they're being threatened by Republican governors who are telling them, you won't be allowed to do business in our state if you offer benefits to, our, to, to your employees. You won't be able to. We want to run your benefits department now. Yeah, we know you're a private company, but we're going to call you a pedophile or we're going to say you're grooming or we're going to make you into something so subhuman. Uh, if, and, and also, on the back end, we're going to ban you from being able to do business in our state even if it's, it's cutting off our nose to spite our face because I want power. Power over the people. You know businesses need a stable business environment. You know that they want effective COVID protections. You know that they want public schools because that is a free way to get educated employees to be able to work for them. And all of it is being destroyed in a quest for power. And what you're going to end up with is no right. I mean, you you know, Georgia, my God. You remember you remember when uh, the NFL decided, uh, you know, Colin Kaepernick decided that he was going to take a knee to, uh, you know, make a statement about police brutality. Well, I mean, the NFL became dung under Donald Trump's shoe. Remember that? So you remember when Major League Baseball in Georgia said, no, we're for free and fair elections? 
and January 6th was, you know, a big turnoff for us, right? So now they're going after Citibank. Now they're going after Disney. Now they're going after truckers. Now they're going after everybody. This is how it happens. You got to wake up if you're not already awake. You have to. And don't let them call you woke as a negative. It's healthy. Don't have time to listen to the live show? Want to hear more on your schedule? Go to randyroads.com and buy a stinking podcast.